venture between civil engineering and yeah. the KIC. Ah, I see. So, um, those are very tight. So, as you probably know, the KIC, or you probably will know about KIC later. Right. But, uh, let me just uh, give you a small uh, brief uh, introduction of Swift Engineering. Yes. So, um, Swift um, it was actually established in 1983. 1983. But, yes, but it was used to call Swift cars. Ah, I see. So basically, used to uh, build the racing cars. Oh. In 1983. I see. And then, uh, as you also probably heard, like Suzuki Swift, the so, name yes. they actually got it from us. Yes. So, I see. The car, uh, Swift was uh. the first uh, to come up with. I see. And then uh, the chairman of and owner of this company is uh, also a former racer. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Mr. Masashita. So their oh, yeah. family business, Suzuki, yeah. Yeah, you mean it? In 1990, uh, they uh, bought this company and mm -hmm. they changed the name from Sweep Cars to Sweep Engineering. I see. Mm. And uh, from 2000, so like we shifted the business mm. from building cars to aerospace business, basically. Ah, so the last uh, uh, racing cars we built for Formula Nippon in 2007, that was the I last. See. Uh, but after, now at the moment, we just sometimes we help with some concept car designs, right, but not right. quite any mini mm -hmm. production mm -hmm. cars. So from 2000, as you can see, like we are um, specialized in uh, autonomous flights, uh, aircrafts, mm -hmm. UAVs, and also like submarines. Mm -hmm. So which is we did uh, with Boeing, it goes like right, about 12 meters long and then can be in under the water about 500 days. Whoa. And there are many do. other uh, things we have been doing. So, as I said, like many, I mean, some of the products we mm -hmm. classify, we can't so really talk about it, but yeah. Yeah, yes. And uh, as you can see, this is our clients and also our associate partners. Oh. So, cool. in the top half of it's basically all aerospace mm -hmm. companies like North Gammon, Boeing, NASA, Lockheed Martin, Skorsky, DARPA, and SpaceX. And uh, from last two years, we've been also working with Hilco Prefecture and Kobe City. And uh, because it was a car business, so we also have other uh, companies that we, we, we build like the cars for. And uh, <clears throat> so basically, like, you know, in, in America, so uh, our, this company is, is our headquarter is in, uh, in, yes, in San Clemente, California. Oh, I see. So, uh, when you use an engineering company or something like this in America, like mid-size, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so normally what happens is like most of the companies, they build some parts of the aircraft, okay. like some okay. own the wings, mm -hmm. the wheels. Right. So, but our company is like, yes, the way it's designed and we, we actually do everything from the concept design, oh, from, the, from, everything. from the drawing to blueprint to wow. manufacturing everything. Amazing. And uh, this is like some of uh, Famous products that we have oh. designed and built. You probably saw this before. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Global Hawk, Black like yeah. Hawk, designs and also manufactures some part of it. So, basically, we work with uh, as, mm. as, as associate partners with Boeing mm -hmm. and all the government, Skorsky. So, as you probably know, this is the radar. So, this uh, two things <coughs> stands mm. also the props we also design mm. and working and also so the what? single jet, private, oh. private jets also. So our divisions have, have actually two, we have two divisions, like right. one Swift Ops uh -huh. and one Swift X. So Swift I X think. is basically, we have our own brand, oh, our okay. own products. Oh, so cool. And Swift Ops is basically when we work with other companies. Uh -huh. So when we get orders and then we just right. them. So our like uh, turnover wise basically mm -hmm. it's 95% comes from Swift Ops. Oh, okay. So Swift X products, we started like from 2016, mm. starting our own drones. Mm. Uh, as you can see, over 20 years of ex expertise, so we came up, uh, we yeah. can build small right. drones, it's like mm -hmm. a, as you can see, it's like a right. aircraft. We call it aircraft. It yeah, it is, it is an aircraft. Mm. Uh, this is actually the first drone we built in 2000, almost 20 years ago. Uh, wow. But this one now, the North Gram, they mm. bought the right and manufacturing devices awesome. from us. Ah, and they're okay. now, still, they are um, providing the products to the US Navy. I see. And this is uh, our the high tech, cutting edge, uh, like old uh, 
VTOL type drone that we mm. came up with. So as you can see, it takes off vertically and mm. it flies horizontally. But the whole the, wow, cool. the important thing about this part is the, the difficult part is when it takes off, mm. the whole body of the aircraft tilt like this. Oh. So there's no aircraft in the world at the moment to do that. But the reason we do this is because in that case it can fly for a long time. I see. So that's the main purpose. And oh. uh, it actually makes no, it's very quiet when it's oh. actually in the air. You can't really hear anything. Anything. So that's uh, the main purpose. And also it, it can fly from the ship, from the moving mm -hmm. ship and everything full autonomous. Wow. Amazing. And we also have uh, uh, our, in our suite ops, we also work mm. with NASA most of the time. So this is also the, the robot hands like we are especially was designed mm. for Mars and uh, well and as you can see we also and, and we also work with SpaceX oh, with SpaceX right. for Falcon 7, Falcon 8 we build some of the parts so as you can see like we are supplying products of manufacturing products for something in space mm. we have in uh, air but this is like in 20 kilometers about I mean it's like uh, a normal commercial flight goes right. 15 kilometers so it's actually right. about that and we also build stuff in the under the sea. So our main plan is in the future to connect everything. Mm -hmm. uh, if we can just come up with a, those kind of mm -hmm. products, and we can, mm -hmm. the communication will be in, a, in mm -hmm. our hands. This is the main purpose. That's, that's why we actually started our own brand. So now we are building this site for us. But as you know, it's difficult to build mm -hmm. just, uh, just for yeah. like, it, yeah. it has to be some government yeah. because otherwise it's difficult. And, uh, and this is the, uh, we'll show the video actually, but this is, a pro, um, this is going to be a game changer. So many, a few other companies like Google, wow. Alphabet, and then SoftBank, they are doing, doing the similar stuff. So this is called Hail, so this has got like high altitude, so mm -hmm. as I said, 20 kilometers. Wow. So this is, uh, it's going to be a substitute of uh, mm -hmm. space, I mean like space stations mm -hmm. basically. So normally, as you know, like when you send a satellite, the air in the air and the space, um, we have a rule like IR, so it can, if it's a Japanese satellite, it can uh, come once or twice mm. in a one day and can stay for five minutes or ten minutes, not more than that, and it has to move again. Mm. But this one, as it's in two, only 20 kilometers, so it can be in the air covering Japan. Or if we say we have like few of those, it can be up there in 24 hours and giving you information. So this is a uh, project we already started in Japan uh, with NASA but now we are also uh, making the rules because there's no rules at the moment mm. in 20, 20 kilometers. Right. Right. So you know I mean people's mm. got to send their birds you know you mm. never know what's gonna happen. So our team in America will be working with FAA mm. to build the rules and also these rules will be applied in Japan and mm. other countries. And uh, let me just show you some videos then You'll, you'll have an idea. So I want to show you the hail first, the one we did, uh, we're doing with NASA at the moment. But this is last year, we did uh, in New Mexico as our first flight, test flight. <clears throat> so this is actually gonna be very, you know, a big game changer for everybody. Like especially uh, countries like Japan, when you have a disaster, lots mm -hmm. of disasters, right? And if something happens, and then I mean, you, you don't you disconnect, you know, you, you can just if, if in telecommunication company have a network over there, you can just sub, just you know, you can just connect with that. And the images now we have the Google images, right? Mm -hmm. But this one, in 24 minutes, mm -hmm. is going to be like like thousand times better images and clearer oh, images. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. okay. Wow, so this, this is, about, is yeah, it's about fantastic. It. This, uh, the, the whole system is a yeah. game changer. Yes, it's going to be, I mean, let's say another two, three years. Right. This is, the problem is not the rule. We don't have the rules at the moment. Right, so right. The rules. I um, see. And uh, the, the reason we, uh, the, our scientists decided to fly over 15 kilometers because ab above there, yeah. Climb, you can climbing. have uh, at least two of almost like let's say 23.4 hours of sunlight right and the wind speed and the weather is almost the same minus 82 degrees in the whole year 
Right. So it's better like that. The way we design it, it can be in the air for six months to one year. Wow. So if you have a few of those, you just put it down and then send them up. Amazing. So this is going to be a, like the a next a game changer for most, you know, like all the communication. So we have. you are like so advanced. So that's... Well, I mean, when you're in, the, in, it's in America, like this is in, in, in they are yeah. advanced then. Even in Japan, like we are like last two, three years, we're trying to right. introduce the, what UAVs are. Right, right, right. And uh, yeah, so, and uh, this is some of the use cases. I can show you like our drones. Well, let me show you how, it, uh, no, let me just show you this one. So, uh, so there's another one we have before I show you. Mm -hmm. so we're also working with, uh, like a cameras, like it's like a, mm -hmm. like a face mm -hmm. identity, something mm -hmm. like this. It's the same thing. We have a camera, it can actually identify 300 oh. different types of aircraft, Clean. helicopters, and drones. That's amazing. So, this is uh, what this we is actually technology. trying to upgrade it. Uh, the reason is now we can actually capture like two to three kilometers. We are trying to get it at least five to ten kilometers mm. so that we can actually, you know, um, track mm -hmm. what kind of. Uh, uh, aircraft is coming mm. towards you. Yes. It uh, gives you like kind of a security in a way. Oh. Like for example, let me show you this one. So like now, this is all our demos and things we did. For example, you can see that the drone is flying here, right? It's identifying the same right. drone. And here you're gonna say plane. And here we have another drone. It's not, we just turn nice. on the engine, but it's not flying. Wow. Another one hit here. But we just tried, we, tried, we wanted to see if it still can identify. Mm -hmm. So, is this, you know, it's, it's, I think it's going to be pretty good, especially in the airport. Very useful. Because of security and stuff like that. You never know. Anyone can yeah, buy drones security, now. Yeah. So, right. now you have to think of, like, okay, how can Security, you right. Security is. In the air? Right. It's not like you can't have a, like a war right. jet there. And right, right. Do that. So, yeah, I mean, so this is uh, another amazing. thing we're actually doing. It's amazing. And uh, it's great. this is also uh, like, uh, we call it a telepresence <laughs> art, like a oh, wow. So it's not like this is moving, this this. Right. The most important thing, this is also the Mars, uh, NASA part we're doing. So this is uh, the most uh, fascinating thing about this part. I think this, like, if, for example, the, this hand is touching this ball, right? Right. So the guy over there, he can actually feel wow. and mm -hmm. feel the weight and the surface of the part. So that's... Uh, that's um, amazing. Also be, I think it will be in, uh, both in the medical science in the future, who, who knows, yeah. Mm. So is this, the test is if this guy can feel it or not. He's here, he can say, it, like he can actually feel the weight. Yeah, you can feel what it is about. So this is also... And... Uh, <clears throat> Like, this is that is tw 20 years ago, the first, mm -hmm. our first drone. So the first drone? Nice. Oh, that was the first yeah, the one. The first drone, yeah. So this is actually uh, gasoline based, so it's, uh, it see. flies about 18 hours. So, I see. Mm, but of course, I mean, it's not very good for uh, commercial users. Yeah. They can't yeah. really fly because it's, if something happens, goes, right. it's better like, and it lands in a net. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, so it can carry you know, lots of information. That's amazing. For the people who need them. <laughs> right. <laughs> and uh, this Fantastic. is a hand launch thing. We're trying to actually also the glider system. Wow. So we are trying to upgrade because the battery basically. Right. And now at the moment it flies like two to three hours. Mm -hmm. But it's a belly landing. So now, you know, it's just, you cannot really have very expensive cameras I and see. stuff like that. It depends mm -hmm. what kind of uh, mission you're actually doing. Right, right. So, what kind of mission? Yeah. So it's not like you, you can kind of purpose. one types of drones. Right, right. right. Different types. And whenever you need, you can just uh, right. choose which drone you right. apply for the project. So we have this one, and uh, this is another one with tube launch. It says it comes out from the tube, as you can see. Tube launch. Yeah. So this is like very uh, light. Wow. Yeah. I see. So for like three to four or five kilos. So for example, oh. like a wildfire or something. Before you send helicopters or send people, mm. you can just launch this one i have a small cameras and you can see in live wow. what was the problem there. so you i mean that's how you can as i said it depends on the mission so it depends mission. on the purpose yeah. right. so this is also belly landing so mm -hmm. so when it's a belly landing 
it's uh, you cannot really have very expensive cameras and stuff mm -hmm. like that. It's just mm -hmm. the immediate action that right. you have to take away, then then you use this kind of thing. Right. Because this this one costs about two hundred thousand dollars. So this you, one. you don't want to send a two thousand dollars thing <laughs> yes. to see what's going on. <laughs> right, so, right, right. so that's how we like you know. So when we uh, do the project, when we just give a proposal to other companies or yes. the ministry, we just give them a package. Right. Because you can't just right. This can this thing cannot do other stuff. So that's right. Do, combine. Combine the things. Combine with many things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, Fantastic. This is so quite we amazing. Before, before we this. Wonderful. Very. <clears throat> so this is um, our O two zero flight. So this is the one we did almost three years ago in Kobe. In Kobe. Mm. So oh. actually, this is going to be the first in the world. Abo. Like oh. flying, have a demo of a, of a like a VTOL type drone in the middle of the city. Oh yeah. Because normally the government will never let that, you do that. That's right. But we are very lucky that um, you got the authorization. Boca and other people, the Kobe mm. City and Hilbert, they all support they us too, like, yeah. mm. That's fantastic. This whole Kobe, we, we, cannot, like, we have to get approval from everybody, a hotel, oh, course, everything. Everything, yeah. Because, oh yeah, I mean, the hotel people say, who, yeah. what if someone is taking a bath? And right, 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 right. <laughs> so, you know, it's a concept, cool but we're lucky to actually yeah. uh, to do this demo. It was very fantastic. So this is our older version, O2-0, mm. it's our O2-1, so it's, this is a little bit bigger, longer right. and wide, yeah. This is like about 3.8 meters, this is about 4.2 meters. So they're powered by batteries? Batteries, yeah. Oh, amazing. And it's uh, land up, uh, like uh, automatically. So our team came from the States, you know, to put it here. These are our chief scientists, this Andrew. So this is a, you know, we just have like only invited guests, not right. because uh, Very. Mr. Mayor, Mr. Governor, they all right, right. found high officials. That is great. But it was uh, like a history actually. It was fantastic. Okay, and then, sorry, and then I'll just uh, show you this one. Uh, this is the, like, there are some projects we, we, we do uh, for the government, which is uh, right. classified, mm -mm -mm. Right? but oh, this course. one is actually uh, it was international tender mm -mm -mm. last year, and we got it in Bahamas. It's about mm -mm. forty uh, different companies from thirty-five countries mm -mm. Uh, participated, and we we actually got the project, and we did it is for Bahamas security, national oh. security. So Great. that is uh, actually after we got the project, we had to do the presentations so with the video for them. Mm -hmm. So as you know, the Bahamas, so lots of small islands. Right, like right. Trafficking, right. Or like drugs, a bit of security. So we gave them a solution of not only with one drones, with mm -hmm. many things. With yeah. like VTOL type drones, right. with octocopter drones, with the bling, mm -hmm. how we can... Um, how we can actually cover the whole area right. 24 hours. Because we also have other drones, we call it Nest. So mm. it's in a box. Mm. If you, you can just um, get the timer, oh. set the timer, and the box opens, oh. and the drones wow. takes off, does its job, and comes back. Amazing. So this is like the, our bird is taking, is it tracking. We have also the camera can track about uh, like two kilometers. Like the car was, was, uh, was driving about. 80 miles, 90 miles per mm. hour. We're just tracking the whole thing. And also like, you know, when that, as I said, wildfire fire. So before you send right. the people uh, to rescue, you, right. need to, you need to have to a you know, teamwork. Like, yeah, you need to watch what's going on. They give you on. an idea like, to see exactly what's happening. Mm. And uh, our swift engineering, right? So headquarters here, and then we have this other Japanese joint venture. And also we have two, three other subsidies. Mm. And one is called Swift Tacticals. Mm. So which is actually, uh, mostly we do uh, for defense ministry. I see. So we have like all former US Marines, Navy, ground force guys, mm. who are in service in, in Iraq or in Afghanistan. So, so they, this one, so they actually 
uh, also, it's not like you have the, you know, like for example, if you have a very nice Ferrari, mm -hmm. but you have a driver who actually drives tuk tuk in Thailand, mm -hmm. so he know he would know this is a nice car, right, right. you know how to fly it, yeah. and drive it. So this is our team is, we tell them, listen, yeah. this is the thing, this is how you do the mission yeah. planning. Mm -hmm. This is one of the reasons actually we actually got this job too. So we actually like to have those people in our team. Right, right. And uh, the last I would like to show, uh, the ones I show everything, but I think I think I think I you need everything. Yeah, yeah. everything. I, this last thing I just want oh, oh, oh. and uh, Oh, so, so this one. This one is actually also yeah, yeah, last that's, year that's nice. in NHK. Um, right. uh, this is also like um, we did a demo right. for the perfectionist people. Like you know, in Japan, there mm. also sometimes Japanese people like to do hiking. Mm, 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 mm. So sometimes what happens is they, you know, they got they got missed and then they can't come back again. They feel sick. Mm. So we, we the demo was like because we had like four or five. The government people they hid in somewhere mm -hmm. in, the, in the mountain, and our our plan our uh, demo was like of our fly of a aircraft will fly and and find out find them out. Wow! So which they have been trying to do for a long time. Actually, mm. the funny thing is, it's it happened because of our super technical people because they knew uh, how to find these people. They're like, okay, how old are they? Mm. When did when did they leave? The high, you know, the thing oh. like the like army mindset. Wow. So before we had a different, uh, uh, like a point of taking off, we changed everything because we have to find them as soon as possible. Oh, so go. Cool. So anyway, that was uh, also another uh, demo we did. Yeah. That is very it's useful. Really huh? That is very interesting. So this is the, I think, thank you very much, yeah, I have to wait. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, <laughs> bravo. Thank you, it was uh, so, fantastic. You enjoy it? Oh, I really, oh, thank you, thank you very much. I really, I really enjoyed it. It was really, it was, uh, I mean, very revealing and very, very interesting. This is my word. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.